All right, now we're getting into the fun stuff on how people can traditionally use point and figure charts for trade execution when it comes to different ways that they can trade securities. Maybe you've got a fundamental bias, you, you've got some reason that you want to get involved in a particular security. Point and figure charts can really help fine tune entries, uh, exits, trailing stops, that type of thing. So let's take a look here. And we're just using Tesla, for example, I've chosen a box size of five and two, just because it's a larger security, it's a higher priced, it's more volatile. So I just picked some larger numbers here as well. So for whatever reason, around this point, which is 2022, uh, I am interested in Tesla, and I want to get involved, but I want to pick a good price. And I want to have a good trading plan around it. I just don't want to buy it because I like the stock, I want to use technical analysis for what it was designed for, to help with entries and exits and timing and that type of thing. Um, so I noticed some things, I've got my point and figure chart. And I noticed that for all of pretty much 2022, every time we get a series of X's, they're happening at a lower and lower and lower price. So we have this run of X's, and then we have a couple O's, and then the next run of X's, so the next time buyers took control, buyers started to pick up the stocks, it ends at a lower price than the one before it. And then that happens again. So we have some O's, then we have some X's. And again, a lower price is where the O's start to come in. And a lower price is where the O's start to come in over and over and over again. This creates a very interesting pullback trading plan that a lot of people will use. So I have my underlying bullish bias on this particular stock. So I'm going to use my point and figure chart to guide me on when I should be getting in, and potentially when I should be getting out. So when I should be getting in would be when I notice this trend change of we have five times in a row where every time we get new X's or every time buyers get in control, they are having lower highs, just the definition of a downtrend that changes right here. So right here, you notice, we start to have our first X's that take out a new high. So the, these X's are higher than the ones before. It. So buyers have been able to gain some strength, they've been able to take out the X's that happened before. It. This could be a good sign to say, this may be an interesting place to start getting involved in the stock. I'm seeing a change of trend. I'm seeing a place where buyers are starting to get a little bit more involved. And you can see that change that trend where now the X's are starting to get higher and higher and higher and higher. So that's good for entry. Where would you potentially get out? Where would you put a stop loss? Well, you could wait for the same trend to reverse. And you could say, I'm going to wait for O's to break the low of the O before it. So I'm going to wait until sellers start to be able to regain control. And you can see, as of doing this chart, you would still be in Tesla, potentially waiting for the low of this particular set of O's to break and then have new lows that would flip the setup that we got into the trade on our head and allows us to stay in and again, avoiding that noise. And then potentially same thing to the downside. So I have AMC here, I have changed the box size and I have changed the reversal because AMC is a lower price stock. Uh, I picked this one just because this has been in a, a pretty violent downtrend. So we could either use this to get out of a long position. Or if we're someone who likes to short stocks as well, we could potentially use this to get in you see that we see the same pattern in which these O's are happening at higher and higher prices, showing us that every time the stock pulls back, buyers are coming in at a higher and higher price, the opposite of what we saw in Tesla, where every time bulls came in, bears were pushing them down at a lower and lower prices. This shows an aggressiveness of the buyers. If you're short, you if you're looking to short or you're looking to sell, it might not be the time to do it when you're seeing this step up of buyers, buyers are, are willing to pay a higher price for the security. And that changes right here at this red arrow, we start to see now this column of red occurring, and it's taking out these lows showing us that this pattern may be over. That could be again, a place to get out of a long position, or it could be a place to enter a short position. And then we could use the same rules. So if I was looking to get involved in the long side of AMC, well, I'm seeing that every time buyers come in, they're getting rejected at a lower and lower price. So I could simply go in and say, whenever this pattern changes, if I'm interested in AMC, for whatever reason, I get to wait for that to occur. 
the beauty of doing this kind of thing where we're waiting for patterns to occur, we're waiting for trigger events to occur on things that we actually like, is it stops us from just getting involved into a security randomly without a plan. I now have a plan, right? If I wanted to buy AMC, I'm avoiding it until we get an X that takes out this X right here. And then I know where I'm going to put my stop loss. So I have my whole entry, exit, right, stop loss, trailing stop, all sorted for me, completely handled. I just need to then do all of my research to figure out what stocks I think have a chance to outperform. So here's the same kind of example with Zoom. And right, we don't want to show just every time it works. We want to show sometimes that it didn't. So Zoom was a pandemic darling. And then as it started to come down, you can see the X's at lower and lower and lower and lower prices. Every time buyers get in control, they're not able to take out the buyers before it. They're not able to show any sort of strength in the market, except for right here. This is the first time that that happened. So if I was very interested in Zoom, I thought this sell off from $400 to 85 bucks was a little bit unwarranted. And I'm interested in investing in Zoom. Using a point and figure chart and using this method keeps you out of this whole down move. Maybe you get involved a little bit right here, and then that gets stopped out. So you have one small loser, and then maybe you're going to try again right here, where again, lower and lower prices for the X's. And when the X's start to break out, maybe I take another shot here, and then I use the same pattern as well. So instead of being someone who just bought because you liked it at a certain price, you have a plan to get in. When you're wrong, you're wrong, you're going to lose a little bit of money, but at least you have a plan, and then you can try again later.